The Memory Palace of Matteo Ricci by Jonathan D. Spence, published in 1984, is a captivating biography that delves into the life of Matteo Ricci, a 16th-century Jesuit priest. Spence, a former professor of history at Yale University and an expert in Chinese history, expertly explores the intricate web of cross-cultural exchange between Ming China and Counter-Reformation Europe. Through his meticulous research, Spence provides readers with a fascinating account of Ricci's endeavors to introduce the memory palace mnemonic device to the scholarly elites of Ming China, as well as his experiences as a missionary in the country. Born in 1552 in Maserata, Italy, Ricci received his training as a Jesuit priest in Rome. After completing his initial studies in Rome, he furthered his education in Lisbon, Portugal, Goa, India, and Macau, also spelled Macau, before being assigned to China in 1583. Ricci devoted 27 years of his life to working in China until his death in 1610. Renowned for his mastery of the Chinese language and his extensive knowledge, Ricci utilized his reputation to advocate for the conversion of China's scholarly class to Catholicism. He translated religious texts into Chinese, and authored a concise treatise on mnemonic arts called Treatise on Mnemonic Arts in 1596. Notably, Ricci achieved the remarkable feat of becoming the first Westerner granted access to the Forbidden City, the imperial center of Beijing. Spence's biography takes a unique approach, departing from the traditional chronological narrative. Instead, it adopts a structure centered around a series of vivid images that serve as focal points for the memory palace technique. Chapter 1 sets the stage by introducing the concept of the memory palace and documenting how Ricci skillfully employed this technique to generate interest in Catholicism and further the church's objectives. Subsequent chapters revolve around four key memory palace images each accompanied by an illustration reproduced in the Ink Garden of the Cheng family, 1606, a collection of woodblock prints cataloged by Cheng Deu and his brother. Chapter 2 centers on the first memory palace image, depicting two grappling warriors, which serves as a vehicle to explore the themes of war and violence. Chapter 3 showcases the first Ink Garden illustration depicting Christ and Peter at the Sea of Galilee and delves into the topic of water travel. In Chapter 4, the second memory palace image, featuring a tribeswoman from the West, is examined within the context of the religious controversies of the Counter-Reformation period. Continuing the journey, Chapter 5 sheds light on an illustration in the Ink Garden, portraying Christ and two disciples at Emos. This chapter illuminates the realities of missionary work, Jesuit education, and the intricacies of conversion. Chapter 6, built around the third memory palace image of a peasant cutting grain, delves into the subjects of profit, wealth, and poverty. Chapter 7, Presenting an illustration depicting the men of Sodom falling blinded before the angel of the Lord, engages in a thought-provoking exploration of morality and vice. Chapter 8 draws upon the final memory palace image of a maidservant cradling a child, juxtaposed with an illustration of the Virgin Mary holding the Christ child. This chapter probes into the significance of Marian imagery in Ricci's life and the Catholic faith. Concluding the biography, Chapter 9 offers a brief yet insightful description of Ricci within his memory palace wrapping up the narrative with a thought-provoking flourish. Throughout the book, Spence expertly weaves together historical facts, vivid descriptions, and engaging analysis to provide readers with a comprehensive and thought-provoking account of Ricci's life and his interactions with Ming China.